Hello, yes, Nick Griffin is a cop-out and a failure, part two. I rushed yesterday's video because I had places to go and people to see. I'm a busy man, trust me. So I'll try and take me time this time and cover a lot more. Right, Nick Griffin's being interviewed by these American guys, I think, um, in a video called Nationalism in the Shadow of Empire. It's a YouTube channel, a Myth of the 20th Century. Reminds me of Alfred Rosenberg's book. Didn't he write a book, The Myth of the 20th Century? Anyway, uh, I've left a link below and uh, you can have a look again if you missed yesterday's video. But anyway, the, one of the interviewers, because there's a few of them, asked Nick Griffin, what hope is there for Britain? And he said, it's finished. There's no hope. There's no uh, chance through the ballot box. And uh, if there's a civil war comes, uh, the youth are all weak, feminised and dumbed down and don't give a toss anyway and they'll be slaughtered, right? Well, yes and no on both of them. And I'll go back to the ballot box one. We're not going to win power by the ballot box. You're quite right. But then on saying that, none of us know how all this is going to unfold with populism or with any sort of alternative to what we have now. None of us know. But OK, let's just say you're right. Let's just say you're right. Winning... Uh, council elections or even parliamentary right gives us control of a community let's just take council seats as an example it will give us control of that community as opposed to these fictional ones you're talking about uh, building communities around these families and these children which is just nonsense so we have control of the community by winning a council seat and Further on, a parliamentary seat. We can win a parliamentary seat. And once, once we get a fox amongst the chickens, that's the end of them. But anyway, that's the ballot box uh, side of it. Now, the Civil War. At present, you're probably right. But I believe we can put the fight and the fire back in our people. And also the hatred. The hatred of that which threatens what they love. Right? That's what we have to put back in them. Right? Now, I don't believe there's ever going to be a civil war. They'll do what they've been doing the past 50 years. They move in, we move out. They move in, we move out. There'll be terrorism, rapes, riots, murders, the whole lot, I'm sure, along the way. And we'll just be driven out to extinction. That's what's going to happen. But then on saying that, I don't know, there may be a civil war. Right? So let's start putting the fight, fire and hatred back in our people. The hatred, not blind senseless hatred but hatred to that which threatens you know what they love right which is our beloved country our people right so we can put that fire uh, fight and the hatred back in them of course we can right of course we can whether or not there's going to be a civil war i don't know none of us know anyway the interviewer then says to nick well okay what should people do he then says have more children and build communities around these families and children. Well, first of all, first of all, that doesn't include the public this, right? Forget the pub. The public are not embarking upon that. And you're saying about uh, racially aware nas um, white nationalists should encourage family members to do. Well, that's not happening. Trust me, it's not, right? You've lived in an echo chamber all your life. I live in the real world. I'm on the ground. My feet are on the ground. I talk to people. I go in people's homes to see the, their kids, to see the nieces, the nephews, the cousins, a whole lot. And you, you couldn't say to them, right, start having children because we're going to be a minority in so many years. They just laugh at you, right? So that's not happening. Now, for racially aware nationalists to embark on this reconquista program that you talk about, right first of all you've got to find an ideal partner that's a racial nationalist like yourself that's going to be hard and then you've got to find one that's prepared to embark on the reconquista of the sole purpose of marrying having children homeschooling them shielding them from the liberal poison as well as shielding them from their uncles aunts cousins grandparents you've got to shield them from all them as well it's that stupid Right? It literally is that stupid. Who else do you shield them from? They'd be little weirdos. And it's not 
happening. That's what I'm trying to say. We have enough people here now to turn this round with the right movement, the right leadership and the right message. We can do this now, right? Not this fantasy world, but it's a cop out, Nick, and failure. That's what it is. Because like I've said, yeah, uh, homeschool the children, shield them from the liberal poison. So who else do you shield them from? Like I've said, the grandparents, the aunts, their uncles, the cousins. It's that stupid, right? It literally is. And also, building communities around these families and children where, like an Amish-style community. Oh, get real. You know, it's so stupid. It's a cop-out. That's what it is. You need to get your feet back on the ground, Nick, because this is just ludicrous. And also, you'll be disheartening, disheartening and demoralising people, thinking, oh, it's all over. We've got to have this fight back in a 100 years' time. You know, if we can't do this now, we're not doing it in a hundred years' time. There'll be none of us left, right? That this uh, economic collapse is going to come that you talk about. Again, you've no evidence that this is coming in Western nations. Forget Japan, South Korea, or even China. China's about to be burst. That's riddled with debt. It's or burdened with debt, should I say. China's burdened with debt. That could burst any minute. But even though these are super capitalist nations, like... Um, China, Japan, South Korea, there's still the third world, if you ask me, right? It's not going to happen in Germany, France, Britain, America. It, it's not, right? But if it does, it does. But there's no guarantee it's going to. So you've got to stop this nationalist profit nonsense where you're now spelling out how it's all going to unfold when none of us really know. Anyway, I'm a busy man, so I've got things to do. Okay, thank you.